Hello. So the uh, the room I've been recording videos in has been turned into somebody's office. So welcome to the new room I'm recording videos in. In this video, we're going to define pivot positions and pivot columns, which are relatively quick but important definitions. Definition. The pivot positions of a matrix are where its leading entries will be after performing Gaussian elimination. Or you could go um, and perform Gauss-Jordan elimination as well. Either way, you'll, uh, you'll get the same thing. As an illustration of this definition, let's look at this matrix. This matrix currently has three leading and trees, one here, one here, and one here. If you perform Gaussian elimination, the leading entry is a change. Now the leading entries are here and here. The third row doesn't have a leading entry. So the pivot positions of this matrix are here and there. And to find the pivot positions, you perform Gaussian elimination or Gauss-Jordan elimination. There's no other way to do it. And pivot positions are going to show up in some important theorems and definitions um, pretty soon. Let's end this video with another definition closely related to this one. The pivot columns of a matrix are the columns that have pivot positions in them. So again, keeping with this example, the first column is a pivot column because of this pivot position. The second column is also a pivot column thanks to this pivot position. The third column is not a pivot column. It doesn't have any pivot positions in it.